mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com and welcome back to another episode of Swatches and Stuff where I have a ton of stuff to show you. These are all the items that I've purchased in the last 30 days and tested that for you so that I can tell you whether or not you should run to the store and purchase them or run in the opposite direction. So let me start as always and I'm sorry there's no giveaway this time around. I didn't have time. Um, everything I'm wearing today, I'm going to show you, just in case you're wondering. I'm going to start with face item first. There's a little bit of mix today of brand names and drugstore items. So I'm going to start with the brands. Total Impulse Purchase, I went to TJ Maxx, and you know that TJ Maxx has a section for cosmetics, sometimes makeup, but mostly face item. And I purchased these Elizabeth Arden Creme Hydratante Continue 24 Hours, let's say, uh, hydrating 24 hour uh, cream thing. So I bought the face one, that's the regular. Oh, here's the name in English Elizabeth Arden Perpetual Moisture 24 Cream. And then I purchased the um, Perpetual Moisture 24 Eye Cream. Okay, and I've been using them, when did I get this? About two weeks ago. I've been using them ever since. They are alright. It's a, uh, it's a glass jar, which I like, and um, has a stopper thing, and the cream looks like this. So this is the face cream. Let me show you the thickness of it. Looks like that. It's a nice hydrating cream. It penetrates well. It doesn't leave my skin sticky. It doesn't leave my skin shiny. has a nice herbal floral scent. It is fragrance, definitely. Um, I have to say that this is, you know, a good moisturizer. It's not a wrinkle treatment or anything like this. It's just a moisturizer. So, that being said, I like it, but I think I'm too old um, for this type of product. I need something that starts bringing a little bit more firmness and treats the wrinkles and all of that. But the eye cream, I really like. And as you can tell, I have been using quite a lot. The eye cream is a little bit thicker. Can see that yeah definitely thicker it's thicker to the touch as well and um, has the same same scent um, the eye cream is very good very very good it does really penetrate when I wake up in the morning I don't have puffy eyes I don't feel that my eyes are kind of creepy or anything like this um, out of the two, I would recommend that you get the uh, eye cream. This one is just a basic run-of-the-mill moisturizer. Nothing, you know, um, innovative or progressive or anything like this. It's a smooth onto cleans face and throat um, morning and night. And then same thing here. Like them. I like the scent. The cool packaging. They were pretty cheap. I think this one I paid... Maybe eleven dollars, and then this one um, about the same price. So altogether it was under twenty-five dollars. If I had purchased them at the uh, department store, I would have probably paid over fifty, if not sixty dollars, for that. So I thought it was a good deal. Then, so that was for brand, but then I realized that Target does Borghese, and I found this Borghese Age Defying Cellular Complex Clarify Skin Balancing Toner comes in a huge bottle this was a little pricey I think it was uh, it was under twenty dollars but it was you know like sixteen seventeen dollars something like this so what you do with this is that you pump it directly onto your face or on a cotton pad and then if you pump it onto your face you let it you know you leave it on for a couple of seconds and then you have to take a, a cotton pad and wipe it did it clarify my skin or anything like this no it really does leave it moisturized and bouncy so I actually like this I'm going to try to read the fine print in the back. Refreshing and non-drying, that's true. Leave skin balanced, refreshed and more vibrant. Use morning and night after cleansing. Hold toner 6 to 8 inches from face. Spray on face and neck. Avoid eye area. I don't know how you spray 6 to 8 inches and avoid eye area, but okay. Um, I put it over my eyelids. Gently wipe off with cotton pad or spray toner directly onto cotton pad and sweep over face and neck. Okay. Um, I don't have the ingredients on this. I should have kept the box. I'm sorry. But anyway, this you can find at Target. It was under $20 and I like it. I like toners. This is very nice. Sometimes if it's really hot in my master bedroom, because you know we're in the attic here, and but it's not hot enough to put the air conditioning on, you know, like if it's like in 68, 72 degrees, something like that. 
I would just go to bed with that on and the eye cream I wouldn't put any moisturizer and that worked just fine for me so I'm recommending this for Gizzy Clarify Skin Balancing Toner available at Target that's that then since I was at Target I found a deal we're going into makeup now um, from Physician Formula it's called Mineral Wear and it's a kit that had three items I'm going to show you and again I'm wearing them today uh, talk free mineral flawless airbrushing kit smoothing firming lifting effect light complexion kit so they have light medium and dark and they were in the clearance section so I'm not sure if you're gonna find it but it's 16 hours airbrushing finish and it came with SPF 30 and I know one of you asked me to uh, review products makeup products that have SPF in it so that's one of them Physician Formula. Alright, so it came, this was $17 by the way, and you know Physician Formula is pretty expensive. They are usually $15 per big container. Like I know I've paid $15 for a blush before. Alright, so what did the kit contain? It contained this face powder. Let me open it. I love the packaging. They are so cool. So first of all, you open it this way and then underneath there's like a tiny little brush which you can tell I am not using because I have my own brush set so it comes with a face powder and again this is the light complexion one it came with a bronzer same thing with its own little brush which I'm not using right and the bronzer has a very very tiny 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 hint of shimmer it's mostly matte which I like and then it came with a blush Okay, and let me open it for you so you can see. And again, it's got some little brush. Here's the blush. All right, so let me swatch them for you. The bronzer is called Light Bronzer. The face powder is called Creamy Natural. And the brush is called Natural. That's it. So these are the ones I go for the light. So let me go on the back of my hand and I'm wearing them today. So here's the face powder. It goes very well with my skin tone. The bronzer I like a lot. It has a little bit of orange in it. I'm not crazy about that is the bronzer but it does a good job at contouring I'm hoping you can see and then the next one is the blush and the blush out of all three is the one that was the most disappointing for me because I find it to be a little bit too pale here's the blush I'll put it right on the other side there we go so you have blush bronzer and face and if you can see on my face the blush itself I'm gonna put some more is really not um, dark enough for me but it stays on all day the finish is beautiful it's a little bit cakey if you don't like to have um, a powder that looks more like a foundation and that really covers your face that's not for you but if you do want a powder that would allow you not to wear foundation you just put your moisturizer on and you just put a powder on this is for you this is really really nice I like it again the blush too light for me but the bronzer I use it uh, let me get my bronzing brush right I did my little um what is it techniques real techniques bronzer brush love this put it right here right along my jawline right here on the wing of my nose right here underneath my nose because my nose has a tendency to go down so when I smile see that so it kind of brings the nose up a little bit put a little bit right here and then on the sides right here to kind of create a shadow it's really really a nice color for me um, I think that out of the three this is the best so if you can find this on a as an individual item rather than a kit I recommend this one and the powder is really good too. Um, airbrushing effect, well, I don't know about that, but it does leave a nice finish. Does it stay on? Pretty well, I have to say. Um, of course, if you set your skin, it's even better, 
but I have to say that I go to work in the morning, I have this on, and when I come back at night, I feel like I still have the products on my face. They didn't just get absorbed or kind of, you know, fell off my skin. So I like those. Physician Formula Mineral Wear. So that's that. Then, oh wait, there's another skin item. Where did I get this? I think I got it at TJ Maxx too. This is called Sukin Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. And it comes in a, uh, um, as you know, all of those um, natural oils and um, aromatherapy need to be in a, in a dark glass. And it comes with a glass little dropper right here. So let me put a little bit on my finger you can see that and you put it on your face when you go to bed and it dries almost instantly I have it on actually I put it on this morning instead of putting a moisturizer this rose hip oil is supposed to be um, a skin antioxidant and it's supposed to really brighten your skin and nourish it it's not necessarily as a uh, wrinkle treatment, but it's definitely to just make your skin look um, healthier. I've been using it again for two weeks, not every night, probably every other night and on occasion in the morning when I feel my skin is a little dry. I like it. It has a normal scent. I mean, I can't say. Yeah, it has a very nutty type um, scent. I recommend that too. This is Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil by Sukin. Okay, that's that like this and I lost the sun again so then at Target I went into the makeup section again after I got the physician formula because that was on the outside aisle and I bought a few things um, that are semi new meaning that they came out at the beginning of the summer the first thing is this NYX palette and it's called the Dreamcatcher palette and the one I picked is golden horizon so here it is right so if you're looking for an alternative to the nude palette everybody's doing nude stuff now um i don't know about that but here are the colors as they come in the palette and i'm wearing today i'm wearing this one which is kind of like a champagne i'm wearing this one here that's kind of like a light hazelnut i'm wearing a little bit of the dark brown and a tiny hint of the charcoal so let me swatch them for you uh the colors there's 10 shadows in it and there is one two three four five so it's half and half matte half shimmer all right let me start with the shimmers the shimmer the first one is this golden shimmer right here see that okay so I'm gonna try to get them all right here all right, the first one is a gold shimmer the second shimmer is the one I'm wearing today and it's the kind of light pink almost like rose petal you can't really see it um, another shimmer is this one right here which is kind of like a taupe but when I say shimmer I'm not talking glitter okay it's just a tiny shimmer all right so here's the gold this is the pink this is the one that's more like a taupe and then the light gold right here it's more like a cream is this one right here all right so here are the colors in the shimmer and if i have enough arm space i'm gonna do the mattes the mattes the first one is this white which is just really bright white changing fingers and that one is really neat if you want to just do your uh, brow arch see that um, the next one is this very light beige kind of sand color right here right very very nudey color the next one is this dark brown almost like a chocolate right here right and after that, it's this little bit darker taupe right here, right? You see the difference? And the last one is the charcoal gray, which is the one right here. 
and I run out of arm space. Okay, so here are all of the colors, starting with the gold right here of the I made a mistake right there. Hold on. Here we go. These are the colors for that palette. Okay, now the colors are very pretty. The quality leaves the desire. First of all, they're very powdery, not like falling apart, but they are powdery. So let me get a, uh, a brush and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about if I pick um, just the gold right here. If I go like this, you see that? Okay, so you will have some fallout. Okay, so you need to have good quality brushes and do it right here. I don't know if you can see that. Should have picked a better color. I'm gonna do the brown. And if I do the brown, you can definitely see how it falls apart, right? And the, and the fallout. Okay. Right here. So here's the brown. But and this, they do stay on. You see that? So that I like about it, particularly the dark one. The dark ones stay on. They are good quality when it comes to staying powered. They are good quality when it comes to the pigmentation, but the formula itself is not that great. Only because there's a lot of fallout. So when you do make up your eye makeup with a uh, eyeshadow that has a lot of fallout or it's a loose eyeshadow, I would suggest that you take a, um, you know, like a good, brush like this, dip it into some loose powder and put a lot of loose powder right here underneath your eyes. So then all you have to do is take your face brush and you're just going to sweep everything underneath your eyes. So you're getting all of the loose powder you had there and all of the um, fallouts from your eyeshadow. That's the way I do it. I think that professional um, makeup artists do it that way as well. That's just a little tip. If you have a palette like this, this was $15 or $14 plus change or whatever. Um, if you're looking to have some kind of a nude palette, I would recommend this. This is actually pretty good. It's great for travel. I like how sleek it is. I wish they would have... Um, I can't open it. I just wish they would have a mirror right here. Because if I'm going to travel with that... I would like to be able to check on my eyeshadow and be able to just reapply or apply some without having to carry a mirror or just kind of like bend forward towards the uh, bathroom mirror, but that's just me, okay? Um, I gotta clean this out. For eyes, I bought this and I don't know how new it is. It's from Maybelline. It's called the Master Kajal. It's a eyeliner that doesn't require for you to ever, that's great, to ever sharpen. All right, so it's just basically this big tip thing and I don't know it doesn't once it's done it's done I like this there's three colors they have jet black they have a charcoal skies which is the one I purchased and I think they have I'm not sure they may have a brown or something like that I only saw three at the store I can't remember the third one so these I really like first of all they glide on they stay on for a long time almost the entire day and I tend to rub my eyes so and this thing stays on what I like about it is that you can build on it so if I do a single layer I can let it set a little bit and I can add on and build upon it to get more of a dramatic effect today I only have one layer of it that's it and it's pretty intense when it comes to the pigmentation so let me show you what it looks like so here's one pass and that's again this charcoal skies that I purchased. I didn't want to get the black because I just got one. Okay, and here's two passes and three. So like I said, here's three. You see how you can build upon it? Okay. Um, I just purchased, I just got a, a black one from my, I can't remember if it was, a, yeah, it was a Koemi. So I didn't need another black one but I wanted to get something that was a little bit softer on my eyes so it's been on for a while let's go like this see that it stays on it's pretty good I like it um finally I mean I'm rubbing and it's still on 
not as much but it's still on and see I'm still rubbing and you can still see it so finally an eyeliner pencil that stays on this is almost as good as the Urban Decay what's the name of it as good as the 24 7 velvet from Urban Decay um, definitely yeah so these to me are comparable fraction of the cost this was $8.79 I think at my local Walgreens okay so that's that then for lips lips I purchased two things this month the first thing I bought I'm wearing right now is you know everybody's talking about the baby lips right and I never got one um, because some people don't like them some people swear by them so I figured you know what there's too much controversy over this thing it's probably not that great um, it's just a tinted bone so cover girl came up with those lipstick smoochies right here and I just got one just to feel the formula I was you know I didn't really pick a color in particular well I mean I didn't take the darkest one I got this light pink right here and it comes in a tube and there's quite a lot of product in that tube okay and here's the swatch for you okay so this one I don't know what the name of the color is but it's number 580 see that okay the formula oh I just smashed the front I didn't put it back properly okay first of all the formula is amazing this feels like a lip balm but not a tacky one it's a semi matte finish and to be honest I put it on in the morning and it stays on all day this is a stain this is not just a lip balm it's a stain it really stays on it's amazing I love the color I don't know if you like it on me I like it it's uh, it's almost like a uh, um, a bluish hot pink it's not pow in your face it's pretty discreet I think as a hot pink and it doesn't have any taste the formula is great very moisturizing uh, packaging is all right I mean I just you know broke the top but I, I can fix that um, I don't know how many more colors they have I got that in one of the you know displays I think there was another three so I have to check it out and see if they have other colors because I would definitely buy more of these I just wish the packaging was different for me this thing here is just too long um, I don't know it's I don't know it's just me but that being said beautiful color beautiful formula great feel on it and amazing stay love this and in the spirit of getting hot pink I went to another drugstore and I got this Milani right here um, lip gloss this one is number 08 in rose blush right there a little disappointed this was under eight dollars um, the doe foot is a straight doe foot it's not one that's slanted for me it's a little small it smells very strongly of vanilla which is all right for me the color itself is gorgeous I love the color let me put it right next to the smoochie so you can see it see it's a little bit different it's got more of a red less blue in it uh, the only thing I can say about this one I'm gonna put some Hold on. on my lips see the difference definitely a shine to it not as good as the smoochie I love the color but it's very tacky it feels heavy on the lips and after a while it just loses its shine so if you want something that's gonna give you shine that doesn't bulge that's not it that's this is the Milani um, lip gloss brilliant brilliant shine it's got a little bit of sparkle in it I like it when I first apply it after about an hour and a half you know if I sip on a straw or drink coffee or whatever it's pretty much gone when it comes to the gooiness and when it comes to the um, 
shine still have a little bit of a tint but doesn't stay as a tint at all so this is not a stain it's just a um, you know apply it over your regular lipstick as you go out and you know or in between just to keep your lips a little bit shine but out of the two this one much better really like this matter of fact i think i'm gonna go this afternoon and buy the other ones okay moving right along um so that was lipsticks i did eyes and i'm gonna do nails Sally Hansen came up with their own version of the uh, XL gel nail polish, which are basically nail polish that are supposed to mimic the effect of gel, but they don't require the LED light. Okay, and that just came out this month for maybe you know late, probably late June, beginning of July. So they come in with their own um, top coat, right? The top coat is just Miracle Gel Top Coat. That's what they name it, number 100. They have a ton of colors, way more than the XL, and you'll know that. Let me pull one out. So I've been talking a lot about the uh, XL Nail Gel by CoverGirl, which I really like, but my problem was that there was only two colors out of the whole collection I could wear, and they're the two colors I bought, and you know it's the pink and the purple one. But this one by Sally Hansen, um, has more color choices. So out of the two, I picked these. It's kind of like a coral and then there's a uh, lavender. One is called number 270 Street Flare. That would be the lavender one. And the number 210 is Pretty Piggy and that would be this kind of pinky coral. All right. And today, I'm not wearing this one, I'm wearing Zoya, but I have to say that these with this unbelievable they will stay on a week and a half no joke and you watch my videos you know that i'm constantly cleaning nailing something painting there moving furniture around cooking doing things around the house these stay a long time they are very comparable to the xl the only difference is that they're a little bit more fluid as a formula let me show you the brush it's a large brush. I love, love white brushes like this. So, let's see. Let me see. I'll show you how fluid it is. You see that? Okay. They dry super fast. Really, really fast. Even faster, I think, than the XL. Um, they stay on great. They cover nicely. One coat is almost enough. And this thing right here, unbelievable. I'm using it on my other nail polishes. I don't just use it with this. I can use it as a top coat on other polishes. The shine on it is unbelievable. It dries super fast and it just stays on. So these, I strongly recommend. If you can find colors that you're gonna like in those Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, go for it. They're a little pricey, they're like $9 but way, way worthy because that stuff stays on and it doesn't chip, it doesn't crack, it doesn't um, start you know, to peel off, it covers well, the brush itself is large enough to get your nail base in one stroke. Really like this. Um, probably if I go back to the store to get more smoochies, I'm probably gonna try other colors in that same, um, in that same range, okay? Next, and that would be the last item. Is here, I'm done? Yeah. Next item, uh, you know I joined Weight Watchers, and yes, I did lose weight again, week number three. The video is coming up soon. You'll have to watch to find out how much. I bought this Weight Watchers uh, magazine. That's the newest one. That's the one for September, October 2014, so they come out every other month. I wanted to check it out for recipes and inspiration, and I have to say, disappointed Weight Watchers. Not a great magazine. I really was looking forward to before and after stories. So there's one major article, right, up for before and after. And then on the last page, they'll show you um, before and after inspiration pictures and things like this. I wish most of the magazine was things like this because that's what I need. Recipes doesn't look awesome. That looks so delicious. Recipes. There's a few of them, but there's some fashion stuff in there. Um, a little bit of workout, see fashion, right? So it's like, it, it's trying to be an all around magazine. Um, there's a little bit of health information. 
I found that there was way too many advertisements in it. There's a lot of advertisement for medication, things for diabetes and things like that. Pretty much every other page is an ad. Um, see? And another one. I just turned one page and here's an ad. And here's an ad. And here's an ad. I bet you there's another one. There you go. Here's an ad again. Every other page is advertisement. So Weight Watchers, uh, you're a great program. I love you. I'm, I'm sponsoring you on my YouTube channel. But quite frankly, the magazine doesn't reflect your company. I'm just saying. I just don't think that this magazine is a good companion for people who are on Weight Watchers and that's just my thought about it it's just bothering me that there's so many ads in it and most of them are either for food items which I understand I get it but so many of them are for medication and treatment it's almost like they, they really want you to pair um, you know being overweight with all sorts of ailments and it's almost like this culture of fear type um, mentality I don't know here's this success story for the month, the sisters who lost weight together, if you can see the before right here, and here they are, pretty nice right now. So yeah, so there's always one article that's kind of inspiring, but again, as soon as you turn the page from that article, what you get? You get a two-page spread on rheumatoid arthritis. So I don't know, I, I feel old when I watch this and when I read this magazine it's like everything is about medication and insurance and things like that and EpiPens and and the purple pill and and Crestor and you know I don't know too many ads so if you want to check it out browse at your Barnes & Nobles or, or you know local bookstore or local newspaper stand look at it I personally don't think I'm gonna get a subscription to it I may get it once in a while if I see a cover that has a uh, um a recipe that's pretty good but otherwise I, I don't I don't know I was disappointed it's $4.95 $4.95 per magazine okay all right so that is that that's all I have to show you if I had to pick a favorite or out of all of the items that I showed you it would probably be the lip smoochie by covergirl closely followed by the nail polish um, Miracle Gel by Sally Hansen and least favorite out of all of them would be probably the Physician's Formula blush because I felt that again the formula is great the formulation is very good um, but the color is not good enough for me so maybe it's just a matter of the color more than the product itself but that was my thought okay I hope you enjoyed this episode of swatches and stuff Next month, I'll come back with more products to show you. Hopefully, a food item. I constantly forget to bring a food item to the table, and I said I was going to do that. My bad. I'll do that next time, and next time there will be a giveaway because I am celebrating over 4,000 subscribers. 4,000. 4,000. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, for giving me thumbs up, for subscribing if you're new, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.